guys, it's like 10 o'clock on a chilly morning. I don't usually eat spicy food this early in the morning just because I like to eat it in the evening. But um, it is a whopping minus 23 degrees today Celsius. Um, so it's a little cold, a little bit, a little bit. Need something hearty. So I'm eating um, ramen noodles with uh, kimchi and spicy um, chili flakes in a... Um, chicken garlic soup broth well most of the broth is getting sucked up here by my noodles and these are pork dumplings i believe and i got a cup of coffee french press my fresh um green onions in there and i'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy this and i need something hearty today i don't plan on eating again until um the kids come home so around 3 34 o'clock well, by the time I cook up, it'll be five. So, guys, enjoy my video. I hope you enjoy this intro. Um, stay tuned for my makeup graveyard. I am going to try this new series I'm going to call the Makeup Graveyard, which is makeup that is way past this expiry date um, that I don't want to throw away for sentimental reasons or because there were limited edition items. Um, since the pandemic, since about... 2020 I have totally gutted my collection uh two to three times I think I only filmed it once but I have totally gutted my collection in those times and so what's in my collection are really things I really want to keep but some of them may not be safe to use or um I just don't use them anymore they're no longer my tastes in color or whatever the case may be so um in this video, I'm just doing eyeshadow palettes because I was going to do like everything, like down to lipsticks and face palettes and everything, but the video would just be too long. So I'm thinking of making this into a series. I got, it's hard to show on video, but I got this clear, big old clear container to put them all in. And uh, so first I'm going to start off with things that either were so old, don't have bat or the batch numbers have rubbed off or um, the company is no longer in production. So um, this is an Urban Decay, I'm not sure. Um, let me start with this one. This is an Urban Decay Smoked. It's uh, very sentimental to me because it was, let's see if I can open it. It's one my husband had bought me when I think, uh, yeah, one of my husband bought me when I was just like, after having my son, well he was like two or three years old at the time, two years old. But I was just after getting, you know, back out into the world. So he bought this for me. It's a nice palette. Um, I once, I don't use this color story anymore, too. Um, it doesn't have a batch on brand anywhere. Probably had it on somewhere or on the box and it rubbed off. So I just Googled it and see what I could find. And this was, this was released in 2013. So it was approximately 10 years old. So I'm not going to use that anymore obviously so that is going into the memory box or the graveyard this i couldn't even remember what it was but the name on it i believe it was one of the original shadow boxes i'm not quite sure but i really love the design on this thing and if you look really closely it's like animals and it's really nice but i just don't know how old it is and i think it's around 2013 2014 so it's probably 10 or 11 years old so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the memory pile too. I also have some uh, Kat Von D stuff, not KBD Beauty. Um, these do have batch codes, but I couldn't look them up because since um, Kat Von D had her scandal and had to sell her makeup brand, um, her previous stuff is not um, available to find online. At least I couldn't find it. So what I did is just looked up but release dates online so I know approximately how old everything is um this is the Kat Von D Satan Center I still had it in the box because I was afraid so just to be quite honest with you and it is absolutely stunning and gorgeous uh so there it is the Satan Center palette it got a release in approximately 2017 or it did get released in 2017 so it is about six years old I'm actually going to it doesn't smell, none of the colors have changed. There's no deviation in the pigments. So I'm actually gonna keep this one in my collection and try to use it. Um, 
these two is the Chrysalis palette and Interstellar. They came out around the same time, around 2014. So they're not like nine, eight or nine years old, 2014, 2015. I was really into Kat Von D at the time, so I would have bought these um, almost as soon as they released. So that's pretty accurate. Um, they're not really my color story anymore. That's the Interstellar. That's the Chrysalis one. But this has a lot of sentimental value, like I said, about the Kat Von D brand. Um, and uh, I mean, it's kind of a shame that it kind of went to one way and that's no longer a brand anymore. Uh, well, technically it is, I guess, but it's KBD Beauty. But um, I don't really care for that brand. And uh, it's really sad that everything happened what happened, but uh, she kind of burned a bridge. But I'm definitely going to not use these anymore because uh, they're, about, they're about nine or 10 years old, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the box for sentimental reasons. Next we have uh, two Urban Decay uh, shadow boxes. This one was the original one. Uh, I'm not sure what year this was. I think this is like eight years old. I will put in the batch code thing in the screen here somewhere. This is the original. Um, I have written down that it was eight years old, but I never wrote down the manufactured year for some reason. So this one's about eight years old, and I don't use this color story. I do have um, the Free Love. I bought the Free Love, which is discontinued as a single just before they discontinued it. So, um, but this is not really my story anymore, and I it's old, so I don't want to use it anymore. Same with the uh, Urban Decay nocturnal shadow box this one is a very similar uh, color story to that one except they had disconnected uh, disconnected they had discontinued uh, fireball or sorry free love and replaced it with fireball once again if I have the batch code numbers I'll put it up but that one is about six years old and so as you can see this one was replaced with that one um, free love was replaced with Fireball, but they're very similar color stories. Uh, besides, like a pop of green, and I don't do these color stories anymore. And this one is about six years old, so I don't use them. Um, so they're going in the box, but I really want to keep them for sentimental reasons. And even though this one is kind of like seen better days, I don't know. I might throw away this one. I'm not completely sure, but I'm definitely putting this one in the nostalgia box for the makeup graveyard. Next we have the Urban Decay um, Moon Dust. Uh, these, I love these. Uh, these are actually lovely gorgeous, but they were manufactured in 2016, so they're about seven years old. Um, I would have probably got these as soon as they came out. I was using them right up until, I don't know, about a year ago, but I have much more in my collection now that um, glitters that I like better and I've used more and um, I really don't want to get rid of this either because this was a limited edition thing so this is definitely going in the box as well. Next we have the Vice I want to say three. This is the three. I think I still have the, the thing came in. The Vice three. And once of all this is not my color story anymore. The Vice 3, I think this is, is 2014, so it's about 8 years old. Like I said, any, if I got any batch codes off of these, I'll put them in the corner there. Um, That's about 8 years old, and I think it's on retarded paper. I haven't used it in at least 2 years. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the box and retire it. And this one, of course, is the Vice 4. It's 2015. And like I said, this is not my color story anymore. Um, I'm not really much into the darker colors, um, even though, actually, <laughs> I use this Halloween of uh, this year, and I must say, like, I use, like, the Flame, and I think it was Beat Down and stuff, but I don't use this too regularly to keep it in, and at eight years old, or seven years old, I think it's time to just let it be, so I'm going to put that in the box as well. Okay, now I have some that I am, that are older palettes, and one honorable mention, 
It was actually a repurchase. Actually, two were a repurchase. Um, that I refuse to give up and is staying in my collection and I'm still using and I probably shouldn't be using, but uh, it's getting fucking used. Um, we have, let's start with the OG Urban Decay Electronics. Um, this was 20, 2014, so nine years ago. Is my math correct? Hold on. Oh my god, everything's going fall over. And as you can see, absolutely stunning. I'm st I still use this all the time. I use it all the time. I use it especially like in, during Pride Month. I use this one a lot and I'm not giving that up anytime soon. Now we have the uh, the original Naked. Um, now this was a repurchased in 2014 because they were going to discontinue, they have discontinued the original Naked so I repurchased it in 2014 and threw away my original Naked which I don't even know when that came out. Maybe 20... 10? I want to say 2010 for the OOG Naked. And as you can see, um, this is, I'm really preciously using this, but I'm still using this. I still use Virgin and Sin a lot. Um, Gunmetal, a lot of the metal colors I don't, I, I will say I don't use, but it's mostly for nostalgic reasons. But this is definitely staying in my main collection and not going anywhere. Now we have, um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, uh, Naked 3. Now, this was a repurchase because I had heard through the grapevine. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I heard through the grapevine that this is being discontinued. But it wasn't, and it's still on the go. But I had gave my daughter my original OG one. I had repurchased this. That's why packaging looks a little different. I got it from Shopper, so I know it was legit. And... I did put the code in. It's there somewhere. So it is legit. It is. They just updated the new brush. Uh, according to the code. Um, I just bought this in 2021. So. <coughs> I'm so sorry guys. Um, hold on. I got a drop of water. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I got my life together a little bit. Because it had a different. It has a different mechanism. Than the original. But. Um, I love this color story and I'm not giving it up. Um, and I just bought this in 2021, so this is uh, pretty much new. Uh, I also have the Naked Basics. I'm going to back it up here now. And I use this a lot uh, for my eyebrows and to complement other pla uh, planets, hear me? Other palettes. Uh, the Naked came out in 2016, so it's about seven, six years old. Or more or less um so it is an older palette but i still i've been i use it all the time and you can tell this black i use all the time i help fill in my eyebrows with that and uh my collection um if you've seen my collection videos i have a lot of colors and i didn't realize that i didn't have a lot of like um neutrals like primary neutrals to either like uh you know to mix with other colors so that's why I got this one and I'm really, it's a really good palette and I'm really surprised how much I like it. Um, this black is like, yeah, it's all over the place, but it's in good condition. It is not moldy or anything. This is that right there, just something on the mirror and it's reflecting down here, but there's nothing in that. Um, and you don't smell or anything like that. So I'm going to keep that used. Um, now we have the, uh, Urban Decay After Dark palette. This was supposed to be what was going to replace the Urban Decay Electric palette and After Dark came out in 2016. I would have got that pretty much right away. So it's six years old. And just like the original, I'm not going to give this up. I completely love it. Um, I think the only two colors I never use in this is Off Duty and um, Lounge, I think. But this has been used on many, many occasions. And this is more subdued. Then the uh, electric palette for sure, but it still gives a good color and still gives a good, a very good um, pigmentation. Like I said, it doesn't smell, it doesn't anything like that. Um, where I live, like um, the weather is not really extreme. Like you know what? Oh well, it is extreme, but you know what I mean. Like um, it doesn't get hot, cold, hot, cold. It's like mostly we have a very short summer. And we have a long winter, so um, 
the house is relatively at, you know, uh, 15, 20 degrees every, all year round, um, mostly. Um, the last couple of summers have been humid, but the room I store my makeup in, it's, I keep it at a level temperature, so it's air conditioned, air conditioned in the summer. And uh, the winter time, it's, I don't really turn the heat on in this room in the winter time, but it doesn't get cold enough to freeze. I mean, I have a space heater, but anyway, my whole thing is that my if you keep your makeup very temperature controlled, especially powdered, uh, it will last you a long time. And I'm not giving this up. I love this. It's going back in my collection. The last two I have is the um, Urban Decay Back Talk. This one uh, has been on many a vacation with me. And I absolutely love it. It was made in uh, Back Talk 2018. It's five years, not too bad. The only thing annoying, and I'm sure everybody who ever had this, was this fucking mirror in the middle. It's absolutely goddamn useless. But the thing will not close without the mirror. Maybe it will. I might throw away that mirror because it's just a pain in my ass to put the mirror. But um, these could, are blushes and highlights or a combination of the two. And I still love this color story. It still suits me. I still t I take it on vacation with me, even though I do have um, a lot of other little palettes to take on vacation with me. I really like this one for traveling. Um, so I'm going to keep this one in my collection. Last but not least, before I bore you all to death, I have the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, and that's 2016, so about six years or more, six or more or less. Like I said, the if I have the if I found the batch code for it, I would put it I'll put it up in the comment in the um, video. But as you can see, this is like something I use a lot, especially like this white. I use a lot. Um, as far as the other colors, I don't use uh, yellow. Doesn't show up very well on my skin. Um, I have pink undertones, so unless I put like a uh, what do you call it a uh, an, a, a white primer eyeshadow or something that will neutralize the color in my eye that uh, I can use that but purples the grays like most of these colors get a pretty good use out of um, this is also a go-to palette for pride and Halloween and things like that so um, it's still in my eyes it's still good is there's nothing growing on it it doesn't smell um, the pigmentation hasn't lapsed so I'm definitely uh, keeping this baby back in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely um, Want to make room in my storage and I want not to keep stuff in there that I may or may not use so this is a good way to do that and If you like this just let me And I think about doing this for like other things like um, For instance, let me just move over here. Don't mind the garbage. I'm cleaning um, like these are all my face palettes um, that's like highlighters, blush, eyeshadow, uh, highlighters and blush and bronzers and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty sure there's stuff in here that's well over 10 years old that I don't use anymore. So if you'd like me to do something like that, I could, I could go over that as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, subscribe, give me a smiley face, leave me a message, thumbs up, whatever you like. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.